Welcome back to the world's worst fishing everybody. I'm Chris Jones and uh, we're back up here at Bass Pro Shops again. So we're kind of gonna sort of be throwing it back today in today's video. Um, so when I started making videos on this channel, um, more particularly the, the bait related content, I started uh, with a lot of color matching. So color matching is a big part I think of how you start in the bait making hobby, right? You're going to <clears throat> either remelt some of your store bought stuff that you already have, or you're going to try to recreate it. You're going to try to match, you know, that that favorite color that that you get from Berkeley or or Zoom or Reaction or whoever, right? So color matching is kind of how you build your chops. Um, it, it's a big part of that. So today we're gonna be running in the Bass Pro Shop. I'm gonna try to find um, some color from some brand that I really think would be a fun and challenging match um, just to kind of show you um, a little color matching. And a lot of you have probably seen this before. You've done it yourself. It's nothing quote new, but it's always, I think, interesting to um, give yourself a little color matching challenge. I have a backup in mind in case I can't find um, something good in here, but uh, we'll meet you back as soon as I'm done. Man, my lord, Bass Pro Shops was hopping. I uh, I got in there on their Father's Day sale because uh, today is actually Father's Day, so happy Father's Day uh, to all the dads out there doing it the right way. Happy Father's Day if you're doing it the wrong way, but uh, anyway, we're headed back. We did get some baits, so uh, we're gonna look at those right now. All right, so we're back in the fish cave. These are the baits that we actually got at Bass Pro today, and I looked at every brand soft plastic they had, looked through hundreds if not thousands of colors, and it was actually a Bass Pro Tournament Series color that I wanted to match today. Also picked up some little uh, 4 aught weighted swim bait hooks, and uh, for those of you who might um, be curious, this is the size hook that fits the four inch angling AI swim bait, or the, uh, the open pour. So think four inch size four odd, okay? So yeah, nice little brushed, brushed and capsuled color shift pattern there. So yeah, little four inch swim bait hook. So with that out of the way, just a little rigging tip for anyone interested in that bait, or, or uh, excuse me, in that mold. So what we're doing today is, um, there again, a color match. And this is a really great color, actually. So I was looking at, uh, at all the creature baits in particular, because I wanted to, wanted to try and match a creature bait color. So this little bomb craw, right, this bug, it's a color called Huckleberry. And it's a green pumpkin with some sort of laser purple glitter, which really, really stands out in person, and some large black flake over a white purple with some small blue flake. And you know, <clears throat> it's very PB and J-ish, um, but, but not exactly like it. And there's been thousands of color combinations laminating pumpkin and purple, but I haven't seen one exactly like this and I thought it was super, super attractive. It's a really attractive color. Um, so I said, okay, we will do that one right there. And uh, so we're gonna do it in a laminate version and then we're gonna C block it and swirl it together um, using the angling AI C block and see what we can do. So we're gonna be making it in the stinger mold, okay? I actually have some angling AI ecto crawl molds on the way, so excited about that. But um, so for a creature bait or crawl bait, bug bait, whatever you wanna call it, I like to use the dead on plastic jerk bait swim bait blend. So this is the black bucket stuff. So we're gonna get this heated up and we are going to try to get the most accurate, no pun intended here, but dead on <laughs> match of this color that we can. I think it's a super sexy color, so hopefully we can get it close. So I've got the plastic uh, heating up, but uh, I wanted to show you a couple of hand pours. So I recently did a video, probably the most recent video actually, on this color right here, this uh, sunfish. I've got this kind of... Um, zombie shad or zombie whatever that is it just it looks like something from a zombie apocalypse and then this is really cool this is like an arctic char or a char pour right there and you'll see none of them have eyes 
I am um, doing a collaboration coming up soon where I need a bunch of baits that don't have eyeballs on them. So be on the lookout for some stuff second week of July. Um, that involves a ton of baits without eyeballs. Okay, so one last little look here. We're gonna use Lureworks Green Pumpkin 109 and then Lureworks Purple 123 as our base colors. So I think that will work. Um, so again, there's the Green Pumpkin 109. And we will go ahead and dump some on in over here. Beautiful shade of Green Pumpkin. All right. There we go. We'll see how that does for now. And then this purple right there. Easy as one, two, three, right? So we're going to dump some in over there. And this is kind of going to be our starting point. So let's, I, I know the green pumpkin's going to look about there. It might be a little bit more brown, however, on this um, actual bait. You can see that's real brown. That looks real green. So I may have to um, troubleshoot it. But whenever you laminate it with another color, it can kind of change the hue. So they may have started with a green pumpkin base similar to that one and it turned into what you see in the final product. So that's just something you have to keep in mind that when you laminate two colors, they are fundamentally going to change. So that's why we're starting here. And you know, we'll, we'll run a little uh, round of test baits with these and see if it uh, looks <clears throat> like it should. Now on the purple side, we're using some small blue flake. Okay, I have this just giant container of it in there okay so some small blue flake now this is the little teeny tiny stuff the 0 0.008 all right so small blue flake yeah that's looking pretty juicy right there yeah so that's gonna be one side and this color is not very thick um, so later on whenever I go to C block it and swirl it kind of together it may not do well um, mixed like I need it for the laminate because I, I might not have enough contrast there all right so for the green pumpkin side we need a little bit of large black flake okay so this is the 0 0.062 the big stuff so there's a little bit of that in there and let's see let's just go ahead and get that mixed in there's not like a ton of it in there yeah, real sporadic, just like that. And then this is some cool stuff. So if you look at that pink glitter, it's real shiny. So we're gonna use a lavender laser glitter from Lurecraft. It's essentially like a pink hologram glitter. So that's what we're gonna use for, for this side. And there's a pretty good amount of it. So we'll kind of, uh, we'll go ahead and load it up, see how that does. Now anytime you're using hologram glitter or laser glitter, you have to be a little bit more mindful of your temperatures because it will um, kind of scorch easier, right? The, the glitter doesn't hold up to heat as much. So we're gonna do a quick round of test baits with that right there, just like we just did, and uh, see if we need to troubleshoot. All right, and we are literally just gonna do one mold only. So not a lot just enough to see if the color uh, is, is close and then if we need to make any changes, of course. So we will stop there and see what happens. I, I wanna say maybe the purple side will need to be thickened up a bit, um, but we'll find out in just a moment. All right, real quick drum roll for you guys. Okay, let's see how we did <clears throat> or not. Kiyama, Kiyama, see if these did. Ooh, tell you what, I like it. I like it a lot. Would y'all look at that. So, the purple is different. What can I do to make that purple look right? Now let's kind of look at the, uh, at the other side. 
Well, that other side's real close. Real close. Let's look at this one. This one got a little bit more of the green pumpkin side on it. The green pumpkin's about there, y'all. Now, they're using a different pink flake. I wanted to use this laser uh, glitter stuff because it's the closest thing I had. I don't actually have a small pink flake like that. So, you know, you, you might not always have exactly what you need, but you can still color match things pretty dang good. So, that side's looking good. But as you can see, the... The uh, pink purple side is different. I wonder if I need to thicken it up with some pearl. That's what we're gonna do. All right, Hobby Lobby special. Just some purple pearl. And we're gonna throw some in there. Okay. And hopefully this doesn't ruin this. I don't think it will. All we want to do is change it, not ruin it, right? Okay. All right. It's definitely thickened it. That's what I love about pearls is that you can thicken a normal color without changing it too much if you uh, just pearl it up. I definitely think that's the right move but we need more of it. It's not not quite thick enough. Okay. So we're going to we're going to add a little bit more of this and then see how we like it and we'll meet you back if we think this is good. Okay, and here was the next round after adding the uh, purple pearl and I definitely think it's the right move to add some pearl. It thickened it up a bit. You can see um the the uh, green pumpkin side is still looking good. This might need to be a little bit darker, actually. Um, so my next troubleshoot, you can see the shade of purple on the original is a lighter shade. So now what we're going to do is add a little bit of white pearl to our purple side, okay? And then we're just gonna thicken up our green pumpkin a little bit more with the same green pumpkin. And then that's probably about as close as we can get. So. That's what we're going to do next. Um, so a little bit closer this time. And then I think third time will be the charm. Um, hopefully. Okay, time to troubleshoot. So again, for the green pumpkin, we're just going to add more green pumpkin. I think it just needed to be a little bit thicker. All right, we'll try that. It was probably 20 drops or so. Okay. Yeah. Yep, that needs to be reheated a bit. All right, and then for this purple side, we're going to add just a little bit of regular white pearl. And um, you want to add white powder to this rather than white colorant. So the white colorant will literally just take over. <laughs> so whole idea here is just to lighten it up just a little bit to where it's closer to the shade of purple so you can already kind of see the effect there we just want to lighten it up just a smidge oh that's looking mighty close you guys okay one more little test run here and hopefully we're done with test runs so I would actually like to make enough of these to like actually have something <laughs> to show for myself. So yeah, one more test run and uh, hopefully that is close enough. Okay, in hopes that this actually works, we're gonna do another drum roll, but it's gonna be a paradiddle diddle, which is right, left, right, right, left, left. So here we go. A little sloppy, but hey, drumming on a mold here, you guys. Ooh, tell you what, I like them. Whether they're an exact match, I do not know. Oh man, that's pretty. Yep, I definitely like the addition of the pearl. Look at that, you guys, that is super close. This pearl, the purple still may be a touch lighter. Um, 
But golly, that's close. Let's um, let's get one over here. Flip it over. Yeah. So there they kind of are, blended in with the originals. I I don't know, you guys. That's that's a dang. That's a match right there. You can um, obviously probably uh, nitpick it a little bit, but hey, I'm ready to actually run some baits now. All right, here we go, y'all. A little different angle, so hopefully maybe a little bit better view of this. Okay, here we go. There's number one. Yeah, I need to start filming all my uh, injections from this angle. I like that. All right, so let's check out this most uh, recent run here. Yeah, looking good. Boy, I'll tell you, that's a pretty color, y'all. I've, you know, done a lot of laminate pumpkin and purple colors, but not that sort of uh, exact exact deal there with, with the pearl effect and the laser glitter and little blue glitter. It's always been uh, a little bit different than that. More PB&J-ish in the past. So, which, you know, these do have... A large PB and J uh, look to them, but I believe what did I say it was called? Huckleberry. So, yeah, awesome color. Like I said, I looked through all the gamblers and uh, you know all, all the other big brands, and why don't we want to focus today? So, and lo and behold, it was a Bass Pro color, which is to say it's a Southern Plastics color. So yeah, looking good. Okay, here we go. Here's the next round. So we uh, transferred the remainder of the plastic into the uh, smaller cups there, which just makes things sometimes a little bit easier to manage. It's, you know, a little bit, you don't have to reheat them as long in the microwave to, to do your reheats and all that. So, yeah. Looking good, feeling good. Happy to have matched this color. Because you never know if you're really going to get it right. And you come out here, you waste a bunch of time and then you don't have a video. <laughs> and there are plenty of times I come out here and don't get a very good result. Okay, and there is that last round. So we have a little bit of action there. Spread those apart. And then there we go. Pumpkin on the left, purple on the right. Next round of those. So we'll gather them up here. And... Sorry, guys. Yeah, got some swim baits, huh? Oh, and throw them in the bath. All right. Starting to get a nice little collection of uh, stingers in there. All right, next round, let's go. Oh, you know what? I need to C block these. Ugh. All right, well, I'm going to. Hmm. I'll meet you right back with the C block. Okay, so you'll see that this is a different block down there. This is the Angling AI C block. And what it does is it kind of throws the plastic in there at random, sort of random patterns. And you get sort of a, uh, sort of a swirly kind of camouflage pattern. Really, really awesome tool. And uh, I almost forgot to use it. So, yeah, just gonna top those off there. And uh, like I said, since, since this color has really been built to be a laminate, neither side is like super thick. There may not be enough contrast to really see the patterns from the C block, but I wanted to, uh, to use it anyway, just to, see, um, just to see how it would look. When you're doing uh, colors that are actually made for the C block, you wanna build them sort of like you're, you're doing a, a swirl with a divider cup. You want a lot of contrast. That way you can actually see all the cool little patterns as they mix. So just some food for thought there. Okay, let's see how the C-blocked one did. If I can get it open here. All right. Oh, of course the baits are gonna go to the top. Hey, you know, that's not bad. See how it's just kind of, there's some random purple pearl up there in the front. You know, then it kind of streaks down a little bit. Yeah, you know, that actually didn't do a bad job, so. There they are on that side. You can see some of the purple down in here, especially. 
down in here more of the green pumpkin towards the top flip it over eh, flip them over there's a little bit more purple on those sides so yeah that's kind of how the c block does things and like i said if these had better contrast you would actually see even more little patterns um, throughout the bait where the colors are mixing at random but you can kind of get the effect uh, and i'm actually surprised with how well that turned out so yeah there you go a few c block stingers all right and last round this will probably be the the final go we'll try and get enough plastic for all three molds we're uh back on the regular blending block here all right yeah that's c block's a cool thing and for those of you who uh know about the angling ai c block and um have been wanting to get one he will have them back up on the website i believe uh this coming friday so like june 26 maybe or something like that um yeah and he's actually running stock of them so there'll be 50 or so c blocks i think he was telling me available and if you want it to ship out quickly then order just the c block if you order the c block there it is back there with a mold then your regular um, production time on the mold will bump you back a couple weeks so starting next friday uh, the last friday in june um, you can get angling ai c blocks again all right everybody look at that is that a color match or what just the entire overall look the hue the blending of of the uh thin parts i mean the only difference is they used a different pink flake than my uh violet oh uh, sorry lavender laser glitter so um <clears throat> yeah it's hard to pick a favorite i mean I like the stinger bait a lot better it's not a crawl but um it's more of a creature but golly you guys <clears throat> i don't always get my matches this good so i'm enjoying this one right here because uh, like i said it doesn't always turn out that good you know color matching is difficult stuff you know this color is not a difficult color that's not a hard color you take green pumpkin with some flake and purple with some flake and laminate it but to match it exactly you can see i had to troubleshoot it several times um and without knowing exactly what their recipe is even trying to match a relatively straight forward laminate um, is a heck of a challenge so yeah hope you guys enjoyed okay everybody thanks for being here today and uh hope you found the video fun and helpful like, like i mentioned at the beginning of the video you know color matching um you know store-bought colors your favorite colors that you grew up throwing um color matching those those big production colors from from the big companies is kind of a starting point for a lot of people they're either going to remelt that stuff like we've done in some previous videos um or they're going to try to match them so you know if you see a color like this that's kind of how you do it um it's 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 really a step-by-step -step process you're not usually going to get it perfect the first time you'll have to troubleshoot a little bit um, but that just makes it fun, you know, the challenge of getting that exact color right. You know, one of the first colors I ever matched was, I think it was called Smoky Shad. It was a stickworm color by Strike King, I think. And I remember when I took my stickworms out of the mold and they looked exactly like the Strike King. Man, that was like a defining moment for me. I was like, hey, I can actually do this. So it's always fun stuff like i said even now i don't get them as good as i did today so but shoot me lots of comments below let me know how you think i did if i did a great job a good job medium or they sucked um curious to see what you guys think and uh thank you i'm getting tongue-tied thank you so much for watching i'm actually filming this video today on father's day by the time you see this obviously it won't it will not be father's day anymore but happy father's day